Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be grilling up four beautiful Wagyu tri-tips on the Sunterra Ironworks Santa Maria Grill. Let's get going. So before I make those tri-tips, I'm going to make a quick seasoning, and I'm taking this one out of the box. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll have the full recipe down in the description box below. Start out with some ground black pepper, some black lava salt, some smoked sea salt flakes, and I crushed these up a little bit with a mortar and pestle. Smells amazing. Some Hawaiian red algae salt. I didn't know what to say about that one. It's red, algae. Some garlic powder. Some dehydrated chopped onion. And here's where I'm going out of the box here. I have some Sichuan peppercorns and I ground these again in a mortar and pestle. And this is some amazing stuff. Actually, for quite some time, it wasn't even available to buy in the United States. I got this on Amazon. I'll have a link down below if you're interested. But it has a nice kind of floral flavor, a little bit of heat, and it also makes your lips tingle. It's, it's weird. But um, I can tell you this, unless you've been to a really legit Chinese, it's getting crazy out here, Chinese restaurant, uh, you probably haven't experienced these, even if you've had something that says Sichuan chicken. Uh, this stuff, you would know if you've eaten this. Um, so like I said, if Chinatown, if you have a Chinatown where you live, try to find a legit Sichuan restaurant. Have that. Give it a shake. And there you go. Let me get those tri-tips out for you. So here are the tri-tip, and these were sent to me by my friends over at Grand Western Steak. And I'll have a link down below that'll get you 15% off any purchase. And these things are amazing. And this is actually Wagyu from Uruguay. They call it Uruguay. Kind of cool. Well, you can see the marbling on this is gorgeous. Now, I did do a little bit of trimming on these. I just removed the fat cap. I'm not going to need a fat cap for this cook. And I also removed a little bit of the silver skin that was on these, uh, these tri-tip. Pretty easy stuff. I'm going to go ahead and season with this very interesting seasoning I have concocted here. It's funny because of that black salt, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of salt in here at all. I'm fighting with the wind. I'm under my patio, but the wind, the wind is blowing the rain into my back. I can actually smell that Sichuan pepper flake, even though it was the least, the least amount of the ingredients that were in there. Any of you watched that uncrating, the uncrating video of this cooker, two neighbors helped me with the uncrating and actually moving it to, to my backyard here. Um, Ronnie and Bud. And Ronnie has a pretty big family. He's getting two of these tri-tip. Bud and his wife are getting one of these tri-tips and then Greggy and his family are eating the other one, the fourth. So they are not going to waste, I assure you. So I'm going to use a meter probe for this cook. Makes it easy. All right, let's get these on the grill. So I'm not doing anything real complicated here. I'm just gonna cook these probably at like a medium high heat until they reach the desired temperature, which is gonna be at 125. And then I'll probably, depending on what the color looks like, what the, you know, what kind of crust we're developing, I may take it down a little bit and give it a little bit more heat to kind of get a nice finish, like a nice sear on the outside. But let me show you the uh, setup I have going on here. Started out with a base of lump. And I added some walnut wood, which is what I'm adding right here, a little walnut. And I'm just going to keep feeding it wood to keep that temperature going. Um, the wood I have today for this cook, it's uh, actually a blend. I have mostly walnut, but I also have some almonds. So two good nut woods that are you know, grown right here in Central California. So not too far away from Santa Maria. But this is really going to be good. That, the walnut smells so great. 
but I'm just going to again just kind of keep it flipping, keep it flipping to try to get that really nice even cook. getting fairly close to being done now. I'm going to go ahead and lower the grate, give it a sear, then I'll bring it back up, finish them off. Done. Gonna allow these to rest and we're gonna slice up one, the others are going to neighbors. See you in a bit. And here we are, it's looking good, smelling good. So on the tri-tip we have the grains going this way and then the grains going this way. I always like to cut it down the middle first. There you go. So we have here. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Eat like a civilized human being. Cheers. So happy with this. Hope my neighbors turned out as good. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. First cook on my new Santa Maria grill, and I'm digging on it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the ring bell, whatever it's called, the notification bell. Thumb up the video if you like it. Hope you did. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.